afternoon in Luton in Bedfordshire. And there are binge drinkers out in force in the town centre. Operators in the CCTV control centre are watching their every move. Trouble has erupted. A man is being viciously attacked directly beneath one of the cameras. Unusually, the nearest available cops are Shona Gillen and Ian Leeson, traffic cops. Um, it's got an IC1 female, white top, black leggings, who's allegedly assaulted somebody else next to the White House pub, possibly a robbery, or she may have taken some money from him at the time. With the top of CCTV, there was a male lying on the floor who uh, was being hit and kicked by a female, and he seemed to be unconscious on the floor. And this was in Luton Town Centre, mid-afternoon, um, and there were no available Luton units. In Luton, that's unheard of. And if it is a robbery, it's a little bit strange in the sense that the girl hasn't actually left yet, she's still sitting there on the wall. Normally, if you've got a, a robbery offender, they won't hang around. They will commit the robbery and they'll try and get out of the town centre as quickly as possible. But not this one. She's decided to go and do some shopping instead. I hate girls. They are worse than men. The girl who's got to attack the guy, she's in that shop. An ambulance has come for the injured man, while Ian and Shona are going after his attacker. So your dogs keep holding right. Seeing somebody matching the description, swigging out of a can of lager. She's going to be cut. Let me just pop these on you. What are you doing? We need to chat to you first. We'll have a chat right. in the back of the traffic car. For the moment, she isn't being arrested. It's better if you can just speak to her quietly rather than going in there full bore and saying, I'm arresting you for assault, when you don't know the nature of the injuries, you don't know the full circumstances of what's gone on. But the opportunity to actually have that quiet conversation just never arose. It just went wrong very quickly. This is a girl that actually gets, yeah, like, Right, how'd you get the other one on leave, I'm then? actually her, you know. He walks right. She doesn't, she needs to leave. It's for her, he's The girl's got company, her two dogs, and, it seems, an assortment of friends. Right. I'll go speak to him in a minute. Can you come to the town centre when you dog leaves? Come on. Hang on, look, twin, look, twin. I'll get the steak and Sooner rather than later, I'll be great. OK. The girl's called Joanne. Her dogs, Minnie and Vinnie. She was OK when we were at the shop. We that shop a bit verbal, but she wasn't a handful. She wasn't an issue. My boyfriend attacked me, yeah. Joanne's claiming the altercation was with her boyfriend. The only issue I had was the fact that we had two dogs that were her property, and anybody's property has to go with them. Come on! More of the girls' drinking partners have appeared from nowhere. Look, we'll look after your dogs as soon as you... Come on, Minnie. Can you move away from me, please? Let me go. Get in the car. Now there's another problem. What are they doing in our car? One jumped in, the other's gone after. It was like a scene from Benny Hill. It, it, it was just a comedy sketch because you were dealing with one thing and then something very random was happening. You know, I was dealing with three people and the next thing I know, the doors open to the traffic car and the two dogs were jumping around in the traffic car. Things are going from bad to worse. Ian and I had to get the dogs out of the car. Next thing you know, um, is opening up the passenger door and letting Joanna out. You need to go away. Move right. the dog away then! You grab hold of him. Yeah, I've just about had enough of it. So you're going to need to right now before you really get on my tail. The dogs aren't going anywhere, they'll come with you. Just chill out. No, you're going that way. Come on, let's go. There's two officers with five people, six people, all drunk, all trying to get across their frustrations and their anger, and there's just too much going on. You're asking for another unit. And they're not turning up. Hey, no, 
When we feel threatened, or we have a right to lay hands on people. And on this occasion, about eight, nine minutes into the whole incident, this girl is still getting into my face. So my only other option now was to give her a double-handed push away. Unfortunately, it does look rather strong, but it's only because height on height and weight on weight is that she, you know, she just tumbled over and the fact that she, she'd had alcohol as well. Get back no, no. across Tell the corner. Get the fuck away from me right, now. OK. See you, you little slut. Come here, come here, come here. It was just a very difficult, very stressful situation to be in. And now the prisoner's escaping again. Reinforcements are still on their way to help Ian and Shona. Fortunately, someone from a nearby club has offered a hand. The doorman came over and stood by the side of the traffic car just to stop anybody else from opening the car and getting Joanna out, which freed Ian up to come and to come and give me a hand. Now you've got me in front of you. Do you want to start on a girl? Start on me. Walk away. Walk away. We had members of the public crowding round. We were being videoed. Members of the public were getting involved. You're asking for another unit and they're not turning up. Swearing at me and calling me a whore is bang out of order, sweetheart. So you can stay there. Joanne's friend is being arrested. I was pretty stressed and pretty scared that either myself or Lisa or even both of us would, had the potential to get injured, especially with the guy with the stripy top on um, as a boxer. Keep going. You realise just how um, vulnerable, even as police officers, you are in that situation. At last, backup has arrived. I was really pleased that they were there. We could actually just start to work out what had gone on and start arresting the people that needs to be arrested. Where are you going? Because you're not going to do that. Home. Which way's home? Start going then. That's my dog. All right, I, I hit my boyfriend. So what? I get beat and wrecked by him every day. Where are you lot, yeah? That is my dog. Don't do this to me, please. What is the charge? What am I nicked for? What, slapping my boyfriend? Right, at the moment, we haven't even got round to who he is and what's gone on. Oh, it's my boyfriend and he's a woman beater and for once I'll suck up for my fucking self. Okay. That's what my counsellor told me to do, to go for myself, and I did. I've lost the plot and I've fucking done it, all right? Yeah, I'll give him a slap. The worst thing about all of that, for me, is that while we were dealing with those people, we know someone's been injured, and we didn't know how serious the injuries were. If he wanted to make a complaint, if he didn't want to make a complaint, he could have just been a member of the public that had been robbed and beaten up. Are any of these involved at all? Can we get rid of them? None of them are involved in the assault. Or, I mean, all they are just being assholes. But she needs to come in for public order, and the rest can go if they go. You've got, the you got someone in the back? That's the girl that's so responsible that's for some assault. We don't even know who the victim is at the minute. It's sad, really, because going back even three or four years ago, we had the numbers in response policing that incidents like this, traffic would very rarely get called to deal with. But if you went down there and an officer needs assistance or CCTV can clearly see that officers are struggling, backup was only ever a minute, two minutes away. The problem now is what to do with Minnie and Vinnie. Because we need to sort your dogs out. We can't just hand them over to anybody, can we? The staff is were stressed because of the situation and the fact that Joanna was was winding them up and trying to get them to come to her and they couldn't. He's in front of his boy. Shut up, Minnie! You're not even my dog. Minnie! My dog. If they present me a danger, I'm gonna shoot them, alright? What? If they present a the danger, give them shots, so be quiet, alright? They're not fucking dangerous. In in the wrong situation, those dogs could be could be really, really dangerous and they would just attack anybody. Uh, walk away. No, not anymore, you're not. Just wait until you're under arrest for obstruction, all right? 
for what? Letting her out the vehicle. We're trying to let her out the vehicle earlier on. OK, so I'm going to caution you. Do not have to say anything, mate. Help me she was arrested at 20.35. Basically, a uh, fucking whore, bitch. What are you fucking arresting her for? She was given a public order warning. No, you can take all that. The man in pink has been arrested as well for opening the door of the police car. All of a sudden, it appears Luton isn't so short of police after all. Armed cops and canines have shown up. What are we going to do with our two dogs? Whose dogs? Who's Her they? dogs, the ones in the back of the Vectra. That's the issue. Well, that's why we would have gone otherwise. Why is there dogs here? Why is there dogs here? He's, he's going to shoot my dog. No why is there dogs here? Dog. Why is there dogs here? No one's there? going to shoot your dog. There's dogs here. I can hear the dogs. No, what? I'll try and find he out. said he was going to shoot Listen. my dog. I know I can hear police dogs. Why? No, all I've done was slap my all I've done was slap my boyfriend. Sergeant, Is apparently, yeah. I slapped my boyfriend. The slapper is going to the police station to be charged with a bit more than just giving someone a slap. It turned out that the offender's boyfriend or ex-boyfriend, as he seemed to be at the time, was lying on the floor. The the two dogs are mauling the side of his face. I think I think they had hold of his ears and the side of his face and just mauling on it. She has obviously been captured kicking him whilst this is taking place on the floor. Then walks away slightly. Then comes back, kicks him again. The dogs continue to obviously go in again and bite him again. During that whole incident, some money's fallen out of his pocket and rather callously, she's just decided, well, actually, I'll have that. Walk away as though nothing's happened. Joanne, the other person caught thanks to CCTV in Luton, has arrived at the police station where she'll be interviewed and charged. No, but you still. No, but you were an angry lady when yeah, we first came across you. Yeah, you're not a happy you. woman. I oh, know. Can I just do life. something? I'm not doing anything. I'm going to yeah, pull your on. top up. I don't oh, think you sorry. want the whole world I seeing you grow. Oh, I thought, oh, I thought I had my luck in them pulling it down. <laughs> what, me? <laughs> See, look, the name Claire. Yeah. I do like ladies. Do you? Come on, darling. <laughs> oh, Lisa, and you're well out of no, that I'll one, leave then. I'll you two do it. <laughs> oh, you're that, mate. <laughs> it's oh, always the way. You know there's been a nasty assault. You know that, at the end of the day, the dogs might end up getting destroyed for the assault itself. And yet, on the other hand, once you arrive at Luton Police Station, she changes into quite a jovial character. She's identified that male as being her boyfriend. She's identified. Yeah, and admits to... What, well, Ella Chapel Race? <laughs> ...giving him a kicking. I did not. I give him a couple of slaps. A couple of slaps. A pussy. So, he's at the hospital at the moment, so we're sending somebody up there to speak to him to ascertain trying the nature of the injuries, extra, but we think it's ABH. money from the social, trying to make out now he's disabled, probably, the fucking handicap. Don't point at me when you say that. No, I want to back spasm. I was going to say. Um, at the moment, there's an allegation that his ears may have been bitten off by a dog, which we're looking into, and that, she's apparently kicked and that, slapped him. That's all we know. So men can beat women up, but we can't give them a slap back, no? And what was the advice I gave you earlier? And, and he already come out with a bleeding face from the White House. So whatever he'd done in there, he got barred out of there for, he's down to him, mate, yeah? Down to him, I'll give him a slap and, and a slap and a tickle and a punch. Joanne is as familiar with the police station as ordinary people in Luton are with their railway station. You wanted two blankets and toilet roll and a cup of tea, a cup of coffee. Uh, I need two of them, and uh, I know where the bookshelf is. Joanne, don't go running off. No, I'm not. I know exactly where to go. Where are you going? Because I mean, listen, I live here, don't I? I know exactly well, oh. where I'm going. Oh, yeah, it's probably nicer than uh, her flat, I think, from what she was saying. And, and a no. hard bag, Stick a to hard two. bag Come on. book. I'm going to be in here all night, innit? Yeah, well, you've got a buzzer. If you want to change the reading material, we'll sort that out for you. Where you know a police station that well, then you're obviously doing something a bit wrong in your life. With the prisoner safely locked up, Ian and Shona have got a chance to analyse what happened. Man, and it all kind of got a bit excitable. I thought I'd go from being a traffic officer to a dog handler. Okay. Why not? Lasso using one lead in a minute. I know. I was very creative. <laughs> I was quite. <laughs> <laughs> That's the footage for you. 
Well, if you don't make it on traffic, Lisa, you can always go for the dog section, eh? Only now has Ian realised that his police issue mobile has gone missing. I've returned to traffic and realised that my Blackberry was no longer in the door pocket where it had been prior to the, the incident taking place. I've done a full search of the car, no Blackberry located. Despite having been searched when she arrived at the police station, Ian and Shona have a pretty strong feeling that it was Joanne that took it and where she might have hidden it. And Ian was going, where's, where's my Blackberry? Can you ring it for me? And we rang it three or four times and I said, um, is it on ring? He went, oh no, no, it's on vibrate. It wasn't until the next day that during a, a strip search that the Blackberry was located <laughs> down the front trousers of the offender and the Blackberry had been in there all night.